After being transformed into a pigeon, this agent must accept the help of the clumsiest scientist of all to capture a dangerous machine and regain his human form. Today we're going to recap the story of the 2019 movie, Spies in Disguise. Walter Beckett is a very clever young man, and he uses this to defuse a bomb. With 25 seconds to go before the explosive is detonated, he ends up cutting the wrong wire, which causes the countdown to the explosion to speed up. Suddenly, a woman calls for Walter, who ends up getting distracted while handling the bomb and a projectile flies out of control through the house. In reality, the device was just a toy in which the little boy was simulating a real situation, until his mother got in the way. Afterwards, the child demonstrates his new inventions by dismantling his mother's cell phone for her to use during her missions as a police officer, and during the display, he throws a shower of glitter at the woman. Fourteen years later, in Japan, Special Agent Lance Sterling faces two armed men. Even with his hands free, he manages to distract one of them and throws his gun away with a kick. In the middle of the confusion, he quickly disarms the other, and to finish off, a pigeon defecates on the knocked-out men. The agent then removes two buttons from his suit which turn into mini-robots that serve as cameras and enter the place the man intends to invade. The spy is tasked with stealing a lethal drone belonging to drug dealer Katsu Kimura, a machine so powerful that it can never be turned off. The head of the operation, Joy Jenkins, warns Lance that the place is crawling with Yakuza members, yet the man doesn't intend to wait for the support team to attack. Inside, the thugs drink and mess around distractedly, not realizing that Lance has broken into the place through the aquarium. As the agent watches, an imposing man called Killian appears and touches the suitcase with his robot hands. After that, the spy goes into action by blowing up the aquarium, causing the water, which was previously contained, to form a huge wave. The man then surfs towards his enemies, and the wave itself knocks down several of them. The agent uses crabs to knock out his first opponent. Then one of them tries to attack him with a chair, but is thrown away. On impact, a bottle of drink hits the flames and causes an explosion, causing Lance to defend himself with a chair, which he then uses to attack another opponent. While the spy is distracted, one of the men prepares to attack him, but before he does, the bandit is hit by a bell. Now the agent has to face the big boss to get the briefcase. Masterfully, he takes down the giant with a powerful blow to the neck. However, Killian is still in front of him. Quickly, the spy uses a device on his arm to fire a projectile at his opponent, but the cyborg's robotic arm easily returns the attack. In a dangerous twist, the man grabs Lance by the neck and scans his face, intending to finish him off soon after. After throwing himself on the wreckage, the agent causes an eel to fly towards the enemy, causing him to receive a shock and be knocked out. After that, the spy finds himself surrounded by a crowd of armed thugs. He quickly throws a smoke bomb as a distraction, but unexpectedly, in the middle of the confusion, the image of a cute kitten in a shower of glitter appears. The thugs are momentarily hypnotized, and even the agent is distracted for a moment. However, before he realizes it, one of his enemies appears at his side with a knife, causing Lance to regain his attention. Quickly, the spy escapes by jumping over the bandits, then he drops a heavy gong that slides towards his opponents. During the struggle, the agent cleverly places a bomb under the metal object, which is blown up by the momentum of the explosion. The man flies towards Killian's helicopter, so he takes the opportunity to steal the briefcase. When he returns from his mission, the spy is applauded and pampered by his co-workers. Meanwhile, various objects such as flamethrowers and laser beams are tested by the agency's scientists. Walter Beckett is also at the scene and is surprised by Lance who asks why the young man has replaced the fire launcher with a device that shoots glitter at enemies. The young man faithfully believes that devices should be intelligent rather than dangerous. While ignoring the youngster's ideas, Lance plays with one of his inventions and ends up hitting the kid, turning him into jelly. Even so, the young man insists on talking about his new invisibility technology. The man then fires Walter, leaving the poor guy in the elevator with his things lying on the floor. When several people arrive at the scene, the young man is humiliated to be found like that. The spy takes the briefcase to his boss, but when he opens it, everyone notices that there is nothing inside. Immediately, Agent Marcy Kappel, from the Internal Affairs Department, appears and accuses the man of having stolen the drone. The woman's team starts searching everything in the room for clues. They then show a video recorded shortly after the suitcase heist, in which Lance uses the stolen drone to attack other men. The agent quickly realizes that the individual on the recording is actually Killian, who had scanned his face during the mission. However, no one believes his words, except his boss. While trying to leave the room unnoticed, the man is quickly handcuffed by Marcy. However, with the help of a device, he causes a blackout and manages to break free. After leaving the room, the agent skillfully dodges his co-workers, 
who, although incredulous, try to stop him by closing the exit door. However, he manages to quickly slip under it before Marcy reaches him. At the same time, Killian assumes Lance's identity and breaks into the cover weapons facility, leaving the guards completely unarmed when they see the face of one of their own colleagues. In one swift move, the cyborg launches a devastating attack on the men, using his evil drone. While hiding, the spy remembers Walter's inventions, which can help him disguise himself during his escape. The young man lives alone with his dove, called Amore, in a house full of trinkets made by him. In one of his tests, the young man manages to make a leaf disappear. While celebrating his success, he is surprised by the fugitive spy. Before the young man can warn him, Lance is already ingesting the experiment, unaware that it was still in the testing phase. Walter then explains that the formula the man has consumed will alter the sequence of his DNA, turning him into a pigeon. When the spy is about to leave, he begins to feel intense pain, his body undergoes progressive transformations, his hand shrinks and he is affected by the effects of hormones, becoming doped up. After enduring excruciating pain, the man disappeared instantly. Walter then finds a blue pigeon among the agent's clothes, and surprisingly, the bird starts talking in a disoriented way, revealing the success of the transformation. Now the spy can see 360 degrees, but he still doesn't want to be a bird, but he discovers that the scientist hasn't even started making the antidote to reverse his condition. After that, the agent tries to leave the place quickly, but ends up crashing into a door. After leaving the house, he tries to fly, but crashes again, now into his car. The pigeon then tries tirelessly to climb to the top of the vehicle, but it always slips. Walter appears and offers his help. The spy reluctantly gives in. While trying to get into his car, the young man witnesses the destruction of his house by the internal affairs agents, who are looking for Lance. The pigeon quickly activates the car's autopilot and leaves the scene at high speed. Noticing the noise of the car, the other agents realize that the spy has escaped. During the chase, the two fugitives discuss what equipment to use to defeat Marcy and her men. They accidentally disable the car's system, resulting in the loss of control of the vehicle. However, the spy cleverly steers the car under a truck, into an alley and across a busy avenue. When they reach the other side of the street, the fugitives cross a narrow place, causing some of their pursuers to get stuck. The car then quickly descends a staircase, flying over Marcy's vehicle. Accidentally, the fugitives engage reverse gear and escape at high speed. After insisting, Walter finally activates the oil pedal device he wanted to use, but this causes their vehicle to slip and cause a fire on the road, leading them to fall off an overpass. They land on top of a truck, then Lance activates a parachute so that the car slides to the ground. The two friends now travel to Mexico in search of the Yakuza boss. When they arrive at their destination, they come across several members of the gang, who don't notice their presence because they are unaware that the spy has turned into a bird. The pigeon then tries to continue the mission, but ends up getting distracted by food scraps in its path, due to its animal instinct. As the spy tries to avoid his impulse, several birds appear to get in the way of his work. Lance then ignores his new friends and moves on, but Jeff, one of the birds, is still after him. At the hotel reception, the agent manages to locate Kimura's room on the system, but his new friends show up and start ringing the bell repeatedly. Then the receptionist appears on the scene and everyone flees. Except for the spy, who is hit and discarded by the woman. Outside, the pigeon comes out of a garbage bag and is surprised by the gang of birds, who hand him Kimura's room card. Lance quickly makes his way to the elevator. In the apartment, Kimura gets out of the shower and is startled by the agent's voice. He raises his hands and drops the towel covering his body. The spy remains hidden until his friends appear and cause a lamp to fall on him. After that, the pigeons run away and Kimura grabs the little bird. However, the man believes that the animal is just a means of communication, so he pokes the poor thing to get it to talk. Lance acts quickly and nips the big man's hand, escaping his clutches. After breaking free, the spy has the idea of striking Kimura's nerve to knock him out, but his strength isn't enough to execute the blow with precision. After that, the boss is about to hit Lance with a heavy chessboard, but Walter appears and hits the man with a gun, turning him into jelly. The young man then uses the truth serum on Kimura, making him tell him everything. The man then reveals that Killian intends to break into the agent database in Venice in order to obtain the identities of all the spies and eliminate them. During the interrogation, Marcy's team manages to locate Lance. Immediately, the pair of friends drag Kimura to block the door, causing one of the men to be thrown away by the big man's weight. As Walter prepares to jump from the balcony, the agents use a device to blow up the barrier. Before he is caught, the young man finally uses his wits to calculate the jump, but he can't get to the other side. So, using one of his gadgets, he screws a cable into the building to hold himself up, 
but he and Lance crash on impact. After the cable gets tangled in the building, he drags the two friends towards the elevator, bringing them dangerously close to their pursuers, who try to hit them with stun guns. Walter then uses his pen, which releases a gas and causes them to be thrown away. After landing on top of a statue, the object plummets and drags the two friends tangled in the cable. Before they fall, the spy manages to cut the wire, preventing them from falling. After one of the pigeons steals the young man's pen, he and Lance are on the verge of being captured, but the peculiar bird shoots colored foam out of its mouth. Taking advantage of the distraction, the fugitives hide and escape as soon as they notice Marcy's presence. In the meantime, the evil Killian eliminates one of the scientists who helped him activate the weapon system. The two friends then travel to Venice, and Walter finally finishes the formula to transform the spy into a human, but the substance turns out to be a disgusting jelly, delaying the transformation. After that, the two start arguing, because the agent believes that they should fight evil with heavy weapons, but Walter thinks the opposite. As soon as they arrive in Venice, they find Marcy and her team waiting for them. Without wasting any time, the woman tries to convince the young man to hand over Lance's location, while he watches from the sidelines. Suddenly, an explosion occurs in the city, so Marcy handcuffs the young man to the dock and leaves him there waiting. The spy then releases his friend and they follow the agents. After arriving on the scene, the two encounter the evil drone attacking the team of spies, who are trapped after the robot causes an explosion and flees to the roof. Lance and Walter make their way to the terrace, where they come across the drone hurtling through the sky, taking the database with it. Quickly, the young man flings his friend into the air so that he can chase his flying target. Meanwhile, the pigeon falls like a stone towards the ground, but is surprised when he realizes that he is flying, even though he is being carried by his friends. Meanwhile, the young scientist borrows a motorcycle, but accidentally speeds up too much and causes a collision that results in the scooter exploding. In order to steal the drone's database, the bird that swallowed the multi-pen hits the robot with a jet of ice, causing the object to fall. After stealing the artifact, Lance and his friends are relentlessly pursued by the drone, which fires relentlessly. However, the spy gets distracted and ends up colliding with a clothesline, falling behind and falling on top of his pursuer. After obscuring the robot's view, the agent helps the rest of the team escape the gunfire, and then his opponent runs into a wall. The team of pigeons then flees, switching the database from one to the other. After losing control, the spy ends up breaking into the house of a lady, who is paralyzed by the confusion. As Lance flees, the drone fires a super laser at him, causing him to fall off the roof. Before the robot can steal the database, the bird team appears together with Walter, who retrieves the object. At the same time, the evil drone falls into the water. The two friends leave the place victorious, but are surprised by Killian, who extends his robotic arm into the path of the scooter, causing an accident. The cyborg then pins Walter to the ground, threatening to finish him off if Lance doesn't intervene. The spy then screams in despair, not foreseeing that the young man would use breadcrumbs to attack his enemy. Surprisingly, the crumbs attract all the pigeons around, causing a distraction for the friends to flee. After that, the internal affairs team suddenly appears, but before they can attack the cyborg, who is wearing the agent's face, the evil drone appears and rescues Killian, revealing to everyone that he has a robotic hand. Fortunately, the young man has managed to put a tracker on the enemy, so he and his team of birds follow him through a submarine. During a hug, Walter squeezes Lance so hard that he lays an egg. In this way, they discover that the spy is a female dove, and this can help in the creation of the antidote. Meanwhile, the other agents search for clues on the boat in which the friends traveled to Venice, but they find nothing, as the man is now a pigeon. On the submarine, after Walter finally finishes the potion, the spy ingests it. The effect makes his vision gradually darken until he blacks out. After that, the man woke up dazed and without clothes, but fortunately the young man was prepared and brought his suit. After arriving at their destination, the spy dismisses the young man's help, claiming that his weird gadgets are useless for the final confrontation. Even so, the young man insists on helping, but Lance uses a tranquilizer dart to put his friend to sleep. So the agent goes ahead alone, sneaking into the ruined place. Suddenly, he comes across the image of the dangerous machine, but runs into a glass wall when he tries to reach it. While spying on Killian, the man is attacked by the drone, which grabs him and prepares to use its sharp blades. The cyborg is then surprised by the robot, which is thrown at his feet. When he confronts the man, the spy discovers that there is actually not just one drone, but thousands of them. The man is quickly knocked out by the villain. Afterwards, Killian taunts the agent, showing him his true disfigured face. In addition, the villain claims that he became a cyborg because of one of Lance's dangerous attacks. The madman then commands his robots to attack. 
However, they notice that an unauthorized submarine is approaching. The agent quickly realizes that it's his friends in the vehicle and despairs, as Walter can't defend himself. The drones go on the attack and destroy the vehicle with ease, making the spy regret the end of his friends. During his arrest, Lance comes across the team of birds together with the young man, who managed to save themselves due to one of the strange devices. The young man then calls in the internal affairs department to help them in the confrontation, and one of the pigeons uses ice rays to break the handcuffs holding the agent prisoner. While running, Lance is intercepted by his enemies. However, Walter is already prepared and unleashes his cloud of glitter with the kitten projection, causing his opponent to become paralyzed. After that, the team of pigeons appears, helping to stop the drones with ice beams. Marcy appears and uses her own enemies to hit Killian, taking advantage of the fact that he is still distracted. The agent finally witnesses the cyborg's transformation into Lance, thus revealing the spy's innocence. Meanwhile, at the agency, thousands of drones suddenly appear. Before the employees can cordon off the site, the robots launch rays that burn out the operating system, preventing the doors from closing. The spy tests his new equipment and is thrown far away, but soon understands the workings of the device which, by means of bubbles, captures the missiles coming towards him and turns them into smoke. Soon afterwards, Marcy uses the impactoscope, leaving Killian stunned, which allows her to apply a blow and throw him away. Even the team of pigeons take the opportunity to give the man a beating. Walter also distributes all his equipment to the agents and helps his friends by firing a colored gas bomb, which distracts the enemy. While Marcy and Lance confront the cyborg, one of the pigeons releases the pen that was stuck in its stomach, causing the device to release truth gas into the faces of the three opponents. Then, when the young man is about to hack the drone system, the spy, due to the effects of the gas, ends up confessing Walter's plans to the enemy. Killian then activates one of his machines and grabs onto it to escape. However, the young man manages to latch onto the cyborg through the jelly, which causes him to be dragged away by the enemy. Lance tries desperately to hold on to the young man, but is powerless against the robot's strength and is left with only his friend's equipment. As the drone takes them higher and higher, Walter sets about turning off the robot system. After a frantic search, the young man finally finds the deactivation button. However, he is faced with a dilemma, if he presses the button, both he and his enemy will plummet from the sky. After making a quick decision, the young man involves Killian in one of his inventions to protect him from the imminent fall, sacrificing his own safety. Suddenly, the spy turns into a bird and tries desperately and futilely to hold the young man in the air, but the team of birds unite to help him, gliding through the sky together until they land awkwardly. On Earth, the agents find the cyborg safe, and Marcy finally discovers that the only reason she didn't find Lance before was because he was a pigeon. After being fired, the two friends are abruptly kidnapped. Lance recognizes Marcy and her boss, while Walter, unable to understand what is happening, calls for help. The spy discovers that the reason for the kidnapping is that the agency needs a commander for the Global Espionage Division. The man quickly demands the men's participation in the project, but to his surprise, he discovers that the real boss will be Walter. So the two friends agree to work on this new challenge together. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.